Welcome back to Man Eater, part six. So last video, I think I killed, I killed the uh, fucking the apex alligator thing. Yeah. Now I'm about to, I think I'm, I think I'm about to kill like the apex of. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. To be honest, Mako, Mako, Mako. I'm gonna say Mako. Mako shark, Mako shark. Wipey, wipey, wipey. No, you dumb one. Baton Tordue was built just in time for the slow decline of golf as a popular sport. What is it? Wipey, wipey, wipey? No, dumb motherfuckers. Wi Fi. Schmidt fucking's Captain Slaughter. Mac Mac o War, not love. Kill the Apex. Let's get it. Sultan of Speed, the Mako. Oh, I, I was right, the Mako shark. I thought it was Mako. Bro, this nigga just swallowed a red golf ball. And you on a level 15, bro. I just faced a level 20 fucking Godzilla. You sorry as hell, bro. I'm about to demolish your little ass. Look, bro, you trash, bro. That's so impressive. The Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the peregrine is a land-based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. Bro, he was garbage, bro. I just ended this dude. Hold on. Check in to see if Pete and Kyle... All right. Let's get it. So far, bro, I'm really enjoying the man's game. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. I can. But this one's like 20 feet. Whatever. I'll come out there. I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. Nothing. <laughs> Boy couldn't catch in the diaper. You tell me how to honor Shaw. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might stop looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just. Hope this old university thing works out for him, yeah? He was like, maybe you should be mutilating baby sharks. Because, you know, in the first video, he did cut me before I bit off his hand. Blood is thicker than water. <coughs> now, I got to go all the way down here, bro. So a new area. It's crazy. I gotta wait to become an elder just to get through all this, bro. That's that's crazy. But yeah, bro. This man bit my I bit his fucking hand off because he fucking like his son Kyle just said, mutilating baby shark. He wanna slit it, you know, cut a chunk out of me and shit. Like what the fuck? Damn bro, I can't wait to become an elder. I think I'm going to where like I think this is the area with the great white sharks. People, people. Mastery of swim stroke mechanics is useless against the might of a ferocious shark. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. People! Now 
now I'm in like I think I'm in the actual ocean, like actual like you know open water. Let's go in the water. Let's see. Yo, Merlin, Mako, what hammer? Shit's are no hammerheads. I got new enemies. Merlin, Marlin. I said Merlin, Marlin. Shark returns once again to her safe haven. And I'm leaving the safe haven. Was that a fucking squid? <coughs> Bro, the noise is in this game. What the hell? Hammerhead. Come here, buddy. Hammerheads travel to the coast from as far away as the to end up out in a bunch of box in a biker box. The only to end up in my stomach, yeah. Long a haven for small government ideologues, Hope Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. Shut the fuck up! Instantized protein makes a great between meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Level 20, yeah, I think level 25 is a fucking uh, level 25 is a fucking uh, elder because I'm level 25. Fight Scaly P. What the fuck are y'all talking about? Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. It says fight scaly people. Why the fuck do I gotta fight this man? Kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. Bro, have y'all ever seen the movie Open Water, bro? That shit is insane. Like, I mean, I think it's two movies. Like, uh, uh like I know the first one. Well, I, I don't think I've seen the second. One. 
I think a bunch of in the second one, a bunch of people get stranded in the ocean. But the first one, I know fucking only two people get stranded in the ocean after going on like a like a, a cruise or whatever, like a little trip or whatever. They get stranded in the ocean, bro. Shit's crazy. And then they get eaten. They get eaten by damn sharks and shit. That shit is insane, bro. Like the husband, he goes first. Like he dies first. And then the wife. She I don't know, bro. She she just lived a lot. She could have lived a lot longer, but she just I guess without her husband, like since he died. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Like since he died, she just said fuck it. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Yeah, uh, I guess since her husband died, she just said, fuck it. She, she probably she couldn't handle the situation. I mean, being stranded in the ocean by herself. So she basically just went on the water and, I, you know, killed herself. Hunter is a driving force for the bull shark. I, either she drowned or she basically let herself being get like torn apart by sharks. That movie was sad as hell, bro. I knew Cap. And it's based on a true story too. That shit's sad. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty ball. frozen banana skin. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable quality frozen bananas remains a constant. Sharks to stay wet and oxygenated.
one's hands. But this is a mere bonus in the eternal struggle between man and nature. It is. Killed world of the sea. Performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. The beach sure does look inviting, but according to the most recent study, the sand here contains dangerously high concentrations of fecal bacteria. How the hell did I get back over here? Holy shit. To look at Pier 1 is to see what happens when zero risk management practices are utilized in commercial development. Ownership manifests itself in a variety of ways here. scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Damn, bro, I can't wait to get on level 25, bro. Proclivities. This shit is insane. Damn, that bear's world. That shit looks kind of fun. 
fire. Look at this shit. I don't lie, bro. I'm afraid of heights, but I've actually rode a Ferris wheel before. I don't know. I guess since Ferris wheels, oh, it changed the green. Oh, that shit's so fucking fire. But yeah, like I'm really, I'm, I'm afraid of heights, but like uh, I've ridden a uh, Ferris wheel before. Only be uh, the reason why I wasn't scared because Ferris wheels they move like really, really slow. While homeless and itinerant hobos will work for a living. They are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse to work. Like my son Jeffrey. Jeffrey should cut your ass out for talking, talking down on him. But well, yeah, bro, like just now it's like pink. But well, yeah, like uh, I'm really scared of heights, bro. I've been inside a fucking skyscraper before. I've ridden on a Ferris wheel before, but it's like I've never uh, ridden on a fucking uh, roller coaster, bro. It's like that's that's just I don't know, bro. That's just pushing it. I just honestly, bro, I feel like I can't, I can't. It's like I sleep want to go on. I, I don't know. I want to jump out of a plane one day, like go like skydiving or some shit like that. But I don't know. I just I want to conquer my fears, but I'm just really afraid of heights, bro. Like, I'll do certain stuff, but other stuff, no. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. What the hell is that? Uh, oh, there it is. I gotta go up there. Wow, oh, that's gay. That's gonna be kind of hard. A shark is relentless in its pursuit of their form. stairs and this shit, shit is annoying. A shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. A fat fiesta. Please don't let this be on the ground. I don't feel like going on the ground, bro. Now this right here, bro, this thing right here is hard to get. That thing right there, that fucking license plate, that shit is hard to get. Y'all all trying to go by these hammerheads, bro. They're all trying to swim next to these hammerheads. It's crazy how, uh, it's crazy how, uh, other fish, like predator fish, don't attack other fish, like. I wish they would've added that in this game. Like, instead of basically just having them attack you, they should have them attack, like, each other. Yeah, but this damn thing is hard to get. Wow, Barracuda's trying to attack me. Wow. That's cool, bro. But yeah, they should have, like... Predator fish attack. Oh, a swordfish. They should have like other fish attack other fish instead of just attacking me. The shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. There are so many predator fish. Wow, really? And this is why you shouldn't have attacked me. That's why you shouldn't have attacked You should never did that, bro. But you did it anyways. Wow, a killer whale. 
I mean, an orca. Yeah, killer whale, bro. Them shits are annoying as fuck. Like, I mean, I'm not gonna fight that thing because them shits are so. They're like mad annoying, bro. Those things are mad annoying. And there's another one. Like, when you get into combat with one of the motherfuckers, like, they pursue the fuck out of you, bro. Like, they do not play at all. Why the hell am I all the way over here? What the fuck? I'm not even supposed to be over here. That's why I'm seeing killer. I mean, yeah, killer whales. I'm not even supposed to be over there. By identifying key disaster-related issues, commercial developers can be more informed as they continue recklessly building along the coast. People paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. You gotta be a stupid motherfucker to do some shit like that. Y'all literally spent $12,000 just to do shit like that? Wow. by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided.
shark cage to the beach may not be cool, but it can be a guarantee of safety. I like how all y'all trying to swim. the evolutionary arms race. Turtle. <laughs> like most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons, and probably Illuminati. Congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. Some people would dive in this shit, but it's like, bro, this shit is scary as hell. rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Transformation. And I'm gonna slip on the upgrade tab. As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. Seventy five percent done. Get in here. Bro, 
I hate when you gotta like like you gotta find like a secret entrance to certain stuff. That shit is annoying. Bro. They keep circling around me. I don't like that. Hi. Shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bend. Yeah, bro, I hate when you gotta like find secret entrances to like get certain shit. Bro, shit is annoying. I gotta swim around this fucking whatever the fuck this shit is just to find the entrance to this damn thing so I can get this one crate. I do not know where the entrance is. This is the first gameplay I've actually ever done. Like, I know it's, like, not perfect, but... Like, wow, bro. Leave me alone, bro. There, there you go. There you go. Leave me alone. But, yeah, I know it's not perfect, but... I don't know. I just decided to do a gameplay. Because it's, like... That's really what I wanted my channel to be based around. Finally, I found it. That's really what I wanted my channel to be based around. Like, gameplay and, like, storytelling. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Well, yeah, I just really wanted my uh, my uh, game to be, my channel to be based around, like, uh, uh, fucking gaming and, like, storytelling. Mainly just gaming, though, because it's like, that's... That's really what I love to do. Come on, bro. Let's get it. And where are you going, bro? You are like, bro, you, you already basically dead, so you might as well just die right now. Yeah, I'm going I'm to basically just do this and do this. Damn, I didn't know there was like two more down here, fuck. The primitive aspect of the shark's brain makes them almost incapable of distinguishing between public and private beaches. I 
piece of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. But yeah, this is gonna be it for this video. So uh hopefully y'all enjoyed. If y'all did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one.